my YouTube. So there's a lot of people out there that have asked about heating a space with one of these four-in-one portable air conditioners with a heat pump in it. I looked on YouTube for a long time and I could not find anybody who could say definitively, yes, it works, it doesn't work, and no, heat pumps suck or whatever. But the idea here is this. We've had it in here since August. Used it for the air conditioning then. And then we, uh, I transferred it over to the heat mode. So it's just going out the window. It definitely has to be a double hose unit. You don't want negative pressure. If you take the intake hose off, it'll draw in air from every crack and crevice it can find and kind of defeats the purpose. So I just installed the inverter style on the wall, on the, but it's not completely finished yet. The compression's got to be hooked up, but um, we'll get to that next time. So my purpose here is to show you, let's go outside. I've got my camera lady doing the camera work. This is the current situation. We're in upstate New York. It's December, what, 1st? And of 2019 and basically obviously it's snowing outside and blah 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 it's probably what is the thermometer on the wall there it says about 32 so but it was colder this morning it was like 25 so we're using the okay so back here we're using this as the primary heat and then I have three of these with three of the space heaters they gotta be the I recommend the DeLongs, they're the best. So that's on at 800 watts, and the other two are on at 800 watts, and they run incrementally. So back to this, Cam. We're going to put the test. Here it is. So this is a Honeywell model, and here's the heat gun doing its thing. Let's see, we should be able to get no problem. All right, so there's an output of 118, there's 120, 122, and rising, 124, 125, 125.8, it's about max. Okay, so my point is, YouTubers, if you do get a dual hose unit, four in one, you might want to elevate it like I did here. I've got a furniture mover. I elevated it because it does drain condensate. Then there's just a little Tupperware pan underneath there. Once a day. And a humidifier over here does is pretty much needed too, because it's it does dry it out a little bit. And we're our space up here is probably, I don't know, maybe 1600 square, probably upstairs. So that's it. I don't I've got two boilers downstairs. And one is a 22,000 watt electric boiler. The other one is an 11,000 watt electric boiler. Not use them, we're not turning them on. And currently it's like 70, what is it? Well, that shows 71, so it's comfortable. That's it, thanks for watching.